August Hall of Heroes just announced the best unit in all of Summoner's War, Platy the Fire Mermaid. Listen, if she is not the best unit in all of Summoner's War, then why does the RNG wheel keep picking her? This is sound logic. I mean, no one can argue with this logic. So this is what she, she is a support unit. She's got 11,000 base HP, 600 attack, 626 defense. Her speed is low for a support unit. That's one of the reasons that I think she's kind of uh, a little bit light. Why does she have more attack power? Than her defense i don't know <laughs> but uh not that she has super amazing she's just on some leftover runes i had her on some better runes actually uh well this is this is kind of a pretty nice rune so we might have to change we might have to regem and grind that and stick that on someone else though but she is a unit that i use every so often in siege like i said she had some better runes especially when we were doing the rng wheel stuff and she was just getting used constantly in like every uh in every actual battle so she is a support unit like i said she she has a drawback her base speed is pretty low 95 base speed does make her less relevant than she would be otherwise would she be super meta otherwise Pro probably not but she is pretty decent in uh in guild siege content so she's got the first skill strip uh also damage increase according to your max hp second skill grant life i think this has a lot of value because she has the recover this is the same as beta if you guys are familiar with beta recover the ally targets hp and attack bar by 30 percent each if the skill is used on the dead ally the ally will be revived with 30 percent hp and 30 percent attack bar but adds three turns of cooldown time so it's not a really uh not a low cooldown initially but it does you you know because i just read it burning hearts attacks the enemy stunning the enemy for one turn sets back all of the target skills to max cooldown with an 80 percent chance also goes up over here uh 80 chance each if your hp is at 50 percent or lower stuns the enemy for two turns this is it's only a single target but it's reusable in three turns so she does have access to it quite a bit so she can keep increasing attack bar over here she can even use it to on herself so she could strip she could uh, increase cooldown she is similar to the wind one however the wind one doesn't heal so if you do like and the wind one's got better uh the better base speed so that's kind of, kind of the reason that she doesn't get used as much as the wind one does wind one gets uh used every so often though let's take a look let's do at least one match with the fire one show you guys what i'm talking i would love to do guild wars and guild siege but we don't have any guild wars right now and guild siege is already done for the uh done for the week because we already uh won that earlier so let's do at least one match in rta and then we will see some people, I'm sure, using the uh, the wind one. Actually, you know what? Fun fact, all of these mermaids are very useful. The mermaids might be one of the best, most useful four-star families in the entire game. There are no mermaids that are just, like, bad units that you can't use anywhere. Like, this one, I know a lot of people don't use her. But, personally, I actually think that she's a pretty decent unit. But you can use all of them like and it's not like you're doing yourself a disservice because there's some four stars in the game where you're doing yourself a disservice by actually using them but these ones really aren't that bad like you can use all of the mermaids so these are the runes that we're going to use on her in rta her accuracy is a little bit low she is on violent will but we do have 21 percent accuracy over here with the uh support artifact which gives her at least 74 percent accuracy for her skill three skill two doesn't need to land anything there's no accuracy whatever uh skill one would be nice but it's not the end of the world i have no idea why they picked uh two revivers into something that already naturally increases cooldowns i i i, I really don't know all right let's do scroll trap on this Let's do Blossom Painting. Let's do Increase Cooldowns like 900,000 times. And I think as soon as Oliver goes off, it doesn't really matter what else they use. Let's do this. This is an Oliver Spotlight. This is going to be an Oliver Spotlight. Get the stunts. Let's get uh, skill one. Oh, we didn't. Oh, hold on. We didn't violent proc three to four thousand more times. That's crazy. Let's just do this, I suppose. We're going to have to worry about that Rika in a second, though. Because she's going to come back. So let's kind of think about. Let's kind of think about that. Let's do this. Start doing damage to that. 
impulse gun. Just gonna skill one, okay. Let's do decrease attack age on, oh, we didn't get it, okay. Blade crush, please land on Rika. That's that's kind of my my target that I need to worry about is the Rika because if Rika actually gets oh that's not enough that really is not enough. <laughs> Rika can just proc with skill one. It, she could just proc with skill one. It doesn't really matter. Watch. Oh uh, okay. It wasn't it wasn't that crazy? All right, let's do this. Let's do again. Let's uh, scroll trap Rika. Just kidding. Okay, we're gonna have to start killing things with this, uh, what's his face? No, no additional turns. Don't, don't, don't get those. Don't get those. Let's do... Let's do this. Okay. I think we have to try to do Rika here. She could still go crazy. There's not there's really nothing stopping her from uh, going crazy. So let's do this. Let's do some dots. He's gonna tap that uh, Robo. Robo's gonna die. Oh, he's not going to tap the robo. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's go for this impulse gun. This is just... This is just a spotlight of... Uh, we're going to stun Laika with skill 3 when we get it, though. This is just an Oliver Spotlight right now. That's all we're seeing is it's an Oliver Spotlight. We'll do Blade Crush. And then as soon as we are down to just Laika for the last one, we are just going to skill... I don't know why they picked this, though. Into two things that reset? I think, I think she does good as long as your opponent doesn't pick the right units. Laika solo. Laika solo. Are we going to see a like? Oh my god. If we see a like a solo. Burning hearts. Do we proc? Please proc. I don't think they even need to do anything. I think they're I think they're doing just fine regardless. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do full burst. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Yeah, there we go. So we mentioned Cichlid at the very beginning of the video, so we're going to take a look at Cichlid now and see what she does. So she is on Swift, by the way. A lot of people run her on Swift because she strips, she increases cooldowns, and she's got 110 base speed. She awakens into speed, which Platy does not, unfortunately. I wish Platy... Uh, there would be more of a reason to put Platy on Swift if she awakens into speed. But that's also why Cichlid is more meta. It's a unit that people use significantly more than Platy is. That was such a fast battle. We saw Cichlid come in with however fast she was. Did a good job. She stripped. She uh, increased the cooldowns, which is exactly what uh, is exactly what they needed to do. And that is the point of her. She strips. She increases cooldowns, and she contests the speed. So they had a 33 speed lead. They had 110 base speed unit Cichlid with uh, strip and increase cooldowns. So anyway. Platy Hall of Heroes, even though we're talking about Cichlid right now, Platy Hall of Heroes, all the mermaids are good though. That's kind of the point, is all the mermaids. We don't need to see Molly gameplay. You guys already know what Molly does. Okay, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.